I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, our last video crashed at about seven seconds, and uh, I don't know why. But here we are, another day almost gone, and we attended a board meeting today at Mental Health, and that was very boring and unproductive, to say the least. Uh, we had elections today, which... Uh, <laughs> Well, we had elections today and voted in some folks who have no idea what they're doing in the positions that they were voted into. Um, I hope my video is working. I hope my audio is working. You know, folks, uh, Facebook is a dead end road. It really is. So many of you are trying to justify to me why you're on Facebook. I know why I'm on Facebook, because we have a radio station, and we have 26 platforms to run, and we are getting the news out. We are vetting the news, even though we do put out some fake news every once in a while, by accident and just for fun. Uh, like the Trump thing the other day about making the consensual age of sex 13 years old for young girls. That was fake news. But they are trying to do that. So it's not fake news. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, long day today. The only good thing about the board meeting was we got to cram our face full of food, all the food we could eat, which is why I think a lot of people go to these board meetings just to eat. Isn't that terrible? Um, Facebook is a dead-end road, ladies and gentlemen. Facebook is a dead-end road. How long have you been on Facebook? How many petitions have you signed? How many posts have you made? And what good have you done? Tell me. What good have you done? What kind of measurable results can you show me? None of you can show me any measurable results. None of you can show me any measurable results. We would be better off without Facebook. We would be better off to build our communities, build our tribes. We need to go back to tribes, bands, tribes and bands, and chiefdoms. Those were the lost days, the good old days. Even though you always had somebody trying to come and take your stuff, uh, I think they were still the good old days. Hunter Gather, what happened to Hunter Gather? Now you just go to Walmart or CVS, or Dairy Queen, or 7-Eleven. Hunter-gatherer days are over. NWO has won the game. NWO has won the day. For those of you that don't know that, you're stupid. You're clueless. You're not studying. You're not researching. You don't have a plan. You don't know what's going on. It's very depressing very 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 depressing life is depressing when you're smart when you're acutely aware of what's going on it's very depressing when you're wise beyond your years it's very depressing when you're highly experienced it's very depressing Anybody who's just giddy, giddy, giddy happy all the time is either drunk or clueless. When you look at really what's going on around the world, it's impossible to be happy. Totally impossible to be happy. I don't give a shit what you say. And if you can find the time to be happy, if you can find the energy to be happy knowing what's going on around the world, you're clueless. You really don't know what's going on around the world. And especially here in the United States. Especially here in the United States. I'm not even going to talk about how bad that is. Right now. It's beyond words. Totally beyond words. So anyway, you can see my day was really shitty. Uh, maybe tomorrow will be better. And I'll be back on, and we'll talk a little more. But there's nothing to be happy about, not a damn thing to be happy about. 
Um, and if you can find a little spot there to be happy, that's good. If you can find a little moment of happiness, that's good. Use it. But overall, there's nothing to be happy about. And like I said, if you go around giggling and laughing all the time, you're clueless. You're stupid. You're foolish. So we'll talk next time. Y'all take care.